Hey, it's Yolanda at Dryer Buzz, and of course, 27 answers. Are we clear? Are we clear on what this is? I know it's a podcast, it's answers, but do we know why we're listening? Do we know why I'm speaking? Do we know why I'm sharing? Do you know why you press play? Do you know why you like, share, follow? If I ask, and when I ask, and just because I just asked, I need you to answer in the comments. Because before we go any further, I need to know that you get it. I need to know that I'm giving you what you need. I need to know that you have checked out 27 Answers, that you see that hashtag 27 Answers, and you click it, you go back, you listen. Uh, if you, this is your first one, you saw it on my timeline, it hit your timeline, you saw it on a friend's timeline, you see everybody sharing, everybody's talking about it, you saw the testimonies of people saying, hey, I got all the 27 answers, and then you see that they're implementing these strategies, I, I just need to know, are we clear, do you get it, am I delivering what you need, see, that right there that I just did, that's a survey, And over the summer months or whatever your seasons are, at certain points, you have to stop and evaluate. You have to stop and see what's working. Um, It may change up. I know for me, I have a calendar that I, I change up. I change up periodically. I don't always do a podcast. I don't always drop for 27 answers. There's a season for 27 answers. There's a season when people stop and want to focus on what they're doing or they want to plan what they're going to do, you know, and I don't do it traditionally uh, at the beginning of the year when you're thinking about, you know, where you're going. I wait until you're ready because maybe you put out, oh, I want to do this, A, B, C, and D, and then you wait, wait, I need one, two, three (laughs) to do that, right? And then I try to be there. I try to put out information and content that's going to be there when you're ready for it. But in order to make sure that it is what you need, that it is okay to continue, got to stop. Remember in school, you know, you learn, 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 then here comes that, uh, Pop up quiz, and then here comes a test, and then there's a final exam. If you don't ever stop and evaluate, you have to stop and evaluate. Uh, going back to all the things that I told you, all the things that I've answered, because I'm trying to give you best practices, not just my best practices, but things that I look around and see, oh, wait, that works. But listen, sometimes something can work for a certain type of person, right? There are all these formulas for success. There are all these rules, guidelines, and things like that, but they work for certain people. I'm a last minute, uh, no hype, no pressure. You know, I got to have time to go through my chaos, you know, before I find the order of things, you know, like this podcast. I probably should have did this one three days ago, but you've got to figure out, we've got to figure out, I've got to figure out, and I have to help you develop the behaviors and the habits of how to utilize what it is I'm giving you, what it is you're giving to your customers, and so forth. So I'm giving you the habit of, if you see it, press play, right? Seeing is seeing is believing. So I have to stop and say, is this working? It's Thursday, Uh, We do these Monday through Thursday, and at Thursday, I have to kind of wrap up. Now, I love the fact that we gain some real clarity on the fact that we are, as creatives, as bloggers, as authors, as uh, entrepreneurs, uh, in in various ways that we are out in the marketplace. You'd be surprised when I have a conversation with entrepreneurs saying, and telling them you're about to enter the marketplace and they haven't really thought about it. I can't tell you how many times, just even right now about halfway through this, I can't tell you how many times people come to me and they say, I want to grow my business. I got a product I want to launch. And when I talk to them, I say, okay, well, you're getting ready to enter the marketplace. And they tell me, I can't tell you how many times I hear, I never thought about it like that. What? (laughs) <laughs> right? But that's okay because it happens. And and one of the things that we have learned, uh, of the several things we have learned, one of those is a lot of times people stumble into opportunities. They stumble into their path. They stumble into their destiny because we are all dealing with so much in our day of what we need to do 
that we try and carve out this little time for us to be creative. Like these nine minutes that I take to do this podcast, I had to wait for several other things. You know, I woke up in another train of mind. I had got an event I'm trying to mentally prepare for. I'm planning a broadcast that I have to do tonight. I'm like, what does that look like? You know, and I procrastinated to the very last minute. Because the creativity had, the creative side hadn't loaned itself to me just yet. And I literally had to wait till the last minute. And thank God that wasn't the last minute. Because once I really looked at the information and was ready to make the investment of my mind and my time, it's like, oh, wait, you got another 12 hours. (laughs) 12 hours to me is like a lifetime. Because, you know, and then I was able to relax, uh, push back the anxiety of making this appearance because I haven't done those in a minute, right? And the expectation and the reputation that's out there is that she's going to rock this. And that's a lot of weight. But thank God I had another 12 hours because that meant I could attack my task list. Attack my task list, which was I needed to recap a video that I did. I needed to um, put a sale on the website to get that ready for. I've still got to come up with the banner that I'm going to use for the night. And you know what? I was like, uh, why are you making this hard on yourself? You know what I did? I did something I tell you to do all the time. I went on my social media and I asked. I asked my audience, my followers, my friends, whomever is going to respond. I asked, if I say I'm going to do X, what does it look like for you? What does it look like if I say I'm going to do, and I literally asked the question, if you, if I did an expo booth, what would, what would you expect it to be? Because there's so many people that know what I do in this capacity or that capacity, just like with celebrities. Have you ever gone up to a celebrity and you love them in a project that they were in and they're no longer, they're no no longer thinking about that project. And this is something celebrities get wrong all the time. I need you to be the character that I love. I know you've done 20 other movies, okay? But that's not those are not the movies that I've watched. I need you to be the character that I love. And then they're like, I don't want to go back to that. You know, it was so far beyond that. No, that's when I became your customer. And customers, whether you know it or not, customers last a life time. You may move on. You may change. You may extend your product line. You may offer something else. You may have even retired, right? But relationships, regardless of whether you end them or not, they are timeless in a time, and that is their lifetime. Everything has that and have that lifetime. So there are those when they see me, they came on with me when I was blogging. There are those when they see me, they came on with me when I was doing the boot camps and, and writing the books and the author space and the coaching and all that. There are those who've come on with me hanging out in the kitchen and they don't realize that I have a 20 year blog out there, 16 year blog out there, 30 years helping to close the digital divide. They just know, wow, she has some amazing conversations while she's making that very delicious looking dish. Right. And so now that I'm getting ready to, in this summer space, like everybody else go out there and get ready to expo. I've got to be all things, be all of those things. So Now, trying to do a booth (laughs) in that, you know, pull all, marry all this stuff together. What about uh, 10 seconds ago? I had to just simply ask. Don't assume. Just ask. You're in a space, in a world, in a time, in a place where you can ask. Is this work? I'm asking you. Is this working for you? The podcast, 27 Answers, 27answers.com. What do you still, what do you now expect from dryerbus.com? What do you expect from me? What did you think I was going to say when you pressed play? I'm asking, and I'd love an answer. But listen, I need you to uh, tag that answer. You already know. Listen, go back and listen. If you catch this on your timeline, my timeline, a friend's timeline, thank them, thank me, thank you. But I need an answer. But make sure you tag your answer. 27 answers.